What's up, boys? It's Symphys here. We got a new uh, Symphys rant. So I'm going to be talking to you about event standardization and a couple things I think we should uh, have done. So, first off, I think we should have a minimum desk space requirement for players because I've been to a couple different events where, uh, for example, Gfinity, me and Shroud had our keyboards on our lap because we played in a four man Call of Duty booth. We, uh, I've been to different events where you had your own little like little tiny desk and you have to you have like this much of your keyboard off and you have like your mouse pad hanging off or under your monitor. I've had it where my keyboard teammates key bit, keyboards are on my mouse pad. Um, bunch of terrible situations. Um, really hurts you if you use a lower sensitivity. So I definitely think it's about time that we all get the proper desk space that we need at a tournament. You know, I mean, <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous if you think about it. Second off is uh, PC performance, you know. I think one of the main reasons people don't use 1920 is they're afraid to, you know. You, you can never guarantee you're going to have good comps at an event or anything. So if you can um, if you can give people, you know, 300 plus FPS on 1920, I think that's fine, you know. It's not even that hard, really. You, you need an i7 and like a 980, 970, and you're pretty much good, you know. You, you don't need the most powerful state-of-the-art equipment, so it's not even like a like a really huge cost for most events it just seems like uh some of these comps are good they're just like bloated with like you know they get sent event and event and they have problems and stuff uh you know e-league comps were pretty good but then again you know the more time passes you know they can get slower so i don't know there just has to be some sort of like minimum requirement you know so people can use whatever settings they want um whatever res and graphical settings and you know obviously someone using lower res will always get higher fps but there should at least be you know like a certain pc spec minimum that you know events have to have or teams won't go to their event um third is uh this is something maybe new to a lot of you guys uh, windows 10 is now the new standard to windows 7 which isn't that big of a deal but if you do not have very new asus or benq monitors you will not be able to get display scaling in nvidia and what that means is you know when you changed from black bars to stretched um, or you're not using a native res like 1920 your uh monitor if you have it set on display scaling actually does all of the downscaling so your your comp doesn't actually do any work when it's on gpu scaling your uh, graphics card is actually doing the, the scaling and it's also doing that while running the game so what happens is, is you get a little bit of input lag on your mouse so i mean if it is going to be gpu windows 10 at every event at least if it's always gpu scaling you can just you know put that on and just get used to it and then everyone's kind of playing on the same field but it does get kind of annoying when you go to one event and it's display scaling you go to the next event it's gpu scaling you know it's hard to switch back and forth all the time um so i would like some sort of standard for that um, for is, uh, you know, events um, having a later match play the early match. So you end up playing and your best of three starts at, maybe it starts at like seven and it ends at like 11 p.m., you know? And, you know, 11 p.m., oh, well, you don't just teleport to your hotel and fall asleep. You know, you gotta pack up, you gotta get a shuttle back to the hotel, um, you got to go eat usually because usually people are starving. They haven't ate, you know, a whole best of three. That's like three or four hours if it went into OT or, you know, three mats, yada, yada. Then you have to any strap the team they're playing. So you got to get everyone in the same room, which ends up not happening a lot of the time because people want to sleep. Um, but then you also lack the preparation. So you're kind of at a huge disadvantage if you're playing a 9 a.m. match and you played the latest match at a tournament, you know. So I definitely think events need to think about that before they uh you know when they're doing their their selection of who plays who when a lot of times they'll go up to an ad and be, and be like yo like we we don't want to play the first match like we're playing the latest match and they'll be like well that's how it is and it's like well i know that's how it is but it's unfair you know this other team they finished at 2 p.m and they're playing the 9 a.m match they could just go chill all day watch our demos kind of you know eat food go to sleep early and it's just like you know the, these type of things matter and um you know, people might think, oh, dust space, blah, blah, blah. You know, you want everything to be, like, very similar so that people can p to practice efficiently at home, at boot camps. They know what to expect from an event so that you get quality games that you want. If you go to an event and the computers are just average and some guy is getting 200 FPS instead of, like, 350, 
and you know he's got less desk space and you know um he had to play too early in the morning uh, because you know the he ended up with a really late match you know that that match actually suffers you as a viewer lose a quality match you're going to see less big plays less nice shots um and you know worse quality games and that's something that you don't want to watch as a spectator right you want the best games you want everyone playing at the highest performance at all times in in order for that to happen players need to have some sort of like um a standard set across all events or else you're you're not going to have it right so i don't know those are just some of my thoughts and yeah peace <clears throat>